So I went back down to D.C. to get rid of my bricks and all that. And and I had developed a relationship with one of my, with a dude that just started off as one of my customers. Me and him had built a relationship where we became like real tight, like me and Rich in New York. This kid was me and Rich in D.C. Okay. What was his name? His name was Gary. Gary. Yeah, little Gary. Is that the one that they say got his dick cut off? Yeah, that's the one they say got his dick cut off, yeah. Was that a situation from you? Yeah. That was? I wound up killing little Gary later on. This kid was good. He was probably about three years younger than me. He was a murderer, too. He was about he was about his murder game. Okay. This was my little man, so uh, so I went back down to D.C., man, and I told my little man, I said, yo, man. So I said, yo, man, this dude Rich up in New York, man. And he knew Rich because... He knew Rich from me bringing him to New York because we used to do the firework thing in New York. Okay. I used to, every 4th of July, I used to spend like 10, 15,000 with these guineas downtown and get me like a, a, a truck full of fireworks and come back to my neighborhood and blow it all up and all that. Okay. Around 105th Street and this time I did it around 102nd Street with Rich and all that and I brought my little man because they never seen nothing like that being in D.C. They couldn't really do stuff like that so I brought him to New York to show him how we live up there and all that. Okay. So he wanted me and Rich in that process and all that. So this day I went back to D.C. I said, yo, man, this dude here, man. I just found out this dude is jerking me, man. He's like, what are you talking about? I said, man, this dude is getting these bricks for my man. I'm supposed to get half at this price. And he charging me this price because I'm thinking it's still coming from his connect. Mm -hmm. And the first thing come out, he's my man, man, let's kill him, man. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, just hold up for me. Let me think about this thing. So... I wound up calling Rich. I said, yo, Rich, uh, everything all right? You, you, your, man, your man back on? So I'm just checking. I said, your man back on? He said, oh, yeah, my man just gave me some more joints. You, you coming up? I said, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. I said, all right. I told my little man, I said, yo, we going to New York, man, and uh, we going to go see Rich. No, first I went to New York. First I went to New York. I took care of my business with him. I spent about, I spent about a half a million dollars with him okay. and uh, got my bricks and all that. And uh, he, I uh, think he was getting them from, he was also getting bricks from like Fritz in them. I don't know if you ever heard of the kid Fritz. Yeah, I heard of Fritz. Yeah, he was, he was, Fritz was getting boatloads of that stuff. I wound up taking it back to D.C. So I'm still not saying that, so I'm saying my little man, I said, yo, man, that's it, man. I'm going back to New York. I said, yo, I'm going to ask Rich. I'm going to step to him because I'm like, I'm really like just fed up with it now. I said, yo, I'm going to ask Rich who he got that coke from. This last thing I got, who he getting this coke from? And uh, if he if he lied to me again, I said it's over. Okay. I'm taking him out. So now I tell my little man this. I'm saying, yo, you come. I said, yo, we gonna go to New York. I had just got me a customized van. I just bought me a customized van. Them big joints with the TV and the bed and all that. Okay. So I had just bought one of those, and it was up there in the shop getting the system done and all that. So uh, I told my little man, I said, yo, we gonna uh, go to New York. We gonna fly to New York. I'm going uh, to get with Rich, and I'm going to find out what the hell is going on. Okay. So, uh, one thing led to another, and uh, I don't want to go into all that, you know. But did I, uh, the question is, did I did I have anything, to, did I kill Rich? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I killed Rich. How'd that come about? You just, you just put, because everything on the street said that uh, a limousine pulled up. Huh? A limousine pulled up and put Richard in a car or something of like that. That's what they said? Yeah. No, no, no. That's that's what that didn't happen. That's for that's for them to see later on, that's what that didn't happen, that's what. Okay. That didn't happen. But I know the thing is did I did I kill did I kill Rich and uh yes. Yes I killed Rich. Why did I kill him? It wasn't personal. It was business. God, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, because Rich Rich like I told you, like the story I do with the, with the connect and all that, Rich, he was lying to me about something that there was no reason to lie to me about. And in my mind, it just told me that if, 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 this, if this little bit of money can come between what I thought was a, was, a, was a wonderful relationship and a friendship, then no telling what you might sell me down the line for. And I gave him the opportunity to tell me the truth, not once, but twice. So when I already made the, when I already made the, the uh, when I already came with the plan with my little man and like yo, if he lied to me, we just gonna do what we need to do. Then that's what happened. Did I kill the little brother? No, I didn't. That was, 
You know who that was, right? Right. You know who that was? Right. They said it was a uh, preacher. No, they didn't. That's who it was. They, That's they, who it was, they got right. not just preacher, but Richard's uncle Apple. Right. They did that, and what what made it seem like I had something to do with it is because where I left Richard, where I left Richard, the boy's body was found almost in that same whole city island area. Now they said you carried the body all the way from Harlem to City Island. Yeah. You wasn't afraid? No, I mean once. You know, once, once that first murder, once that, once you, once you take care of that first murder in your life, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like, really, and not, not that this is a, a good thing that I'm saying, but you know, once, once you do it once, it's like everything else is. No, I wasn't afraid. No, the answer that no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't afraid. I mean, I was doing what I had to do, Antoine. Okay. Definitely got killed in that area, and his body was definitely taken up to around City Island. Okay. Um. He got hit twice. It was just a yeah. He he felt something, man. Because I, I I tell you this, his hand was on the door, on the doorknob. I had to I had to pry his hand from the doorknob because it locked on the doorknob. Locked on the doorknob. Yeah, he was trying to get up out of there. Mm. Um, they also said that he scratched your neck. That's a false. That's he a never false. scratched. Richard, first of all, Richard never seen Richard never seen it coming really. He couldn't have scratched my neck because I was the driver and my little man took care of everything else. And uh, he, uh, no, he didn't scratch my How I got my neck scratched, and it's not they said it, I believe AZ said my neck. Right, AZ said it. Yeah, I believe AZ said my neck. Hold on. Richard didn't scratch my neck. Richard never even seen it coming. Richard never even laid a hand on me. He never knew what was happening. Now, uh, how'd your little man get killed? Now? Little Gary got killed in D.C. He was... And it wasn't because he helped me out with the rich thing and all that. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got my money back that rich jerked me out of. You want to put that? Okay. Definitely got my money back. How'd you do that? Well, remember, I, had, I, just, I just got hit with a bunch of bricks from him. Right. That I was supposed to bring the money back for. Right. I kept that. Oh, you kept that? Yeah, I got, I got, close, to, I got close to what he was beating me for back. Okay. Um, but um, he, uh, my little man in D.C., it, 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 it came a thing with him where he was, uh, you know, he was a short kind of guy. He was about 5'1", five 5'2", five real slim in the body, and a real big head. Okay. But he was getting money, though. People didn't know he was getting money. At that time, he was probably holding about a million, two million, and people didn't know okay. that he was holding like that. He was getting it. And uh, he had a real short man complex. Okay. Okay, and... Uh, like I said, we wasn't just business. We wasn't just business partners. We was. I knew a lot of his business. I knew his family. He knew my family in D.C. and in New York. You know, I knew his son's mother. I knew where he laid his head. He knew where I laid my head sometimes. You know, I knew some of his stashes. He knew some of my stashes. We became real close. So, and he was also the one with me with Rich. Okay. So we had a lot of secrets on one another. And um, he became... He had the short man comments, and he became, he started to become real jealous with me as far as through the people, because the people used to, since I was Alpo, people used to see him with me all the time and think he was working for me. Right. Because not until he, not until I came to D.C. really, he started coming out with like Benzes and all, because he seen what I was doing, so he started busting out with little Benzes and all that type of, 300 coupes and all that. Right. And I always had the reputation of, if you lent me your car, Antoine, automatically that was my car. Right. That was my car. And then if they seen you with it, like, oh, yeah, he driving pole car. So time went on. One day me and him and one of his workers were sitting at a table at a restaurant having a sandwich. Mm-hmm. And uh, he called my wife a bitch. He called my wife a bitch because he was like, man, man, you still with that crazy bitch? And I just looked over at him. And I could have took it a little better if it was just me and him. But his, one of his workers was there. Right. And I kind of like gave him that look like, yo, you really disrespected me right now. And so he seen her. She was coming to look for me down southwest because she knew I hung out down there. So the kid, Gary seen her, he was like, yo, there go that bitch. Look at that bitch. Who she looking for? She must be looking for Poe. And my man Wayne heard him say this. And he beat me. He beat me later. He was like, yo, Gary was down here talking trash about you and... uh disrespected your wife. I was going to kill him right there, but I said, let me get with you first. Because I was like, no, I still got love for the kid. 